Hey guys, it's Christine. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing low-fat dessert that is super healthy, super delicious, um, and it tastes so much better than a real ice cream cake. So um, I call it my pina colada dream cake, um, ice cream cake. So what you'll need um, for the crust, you'll need about eight dates and then you know two or three figs so i'm using figs instead of nuts today sometimes i put some nuts in the crust but um, i'm going to use figs today um, i'm also going to use a quarter cup of oatmeal and some vanilla powder for the crust um, then there's going to be a banana ice cream layer it's going to be frozen bananas and vanilla and then on top of that, we're gonna put the coconut pineapple cream layer. And then we're gonna decorate it with some more, or some more pineapple. Okay, so let's make our crust. So you wanna get your dates and you wanna hit them obviously before you put them in the food processor. It's good if you have nice and juicy dates. Some of these ones are a bit dry, but it'll still work. And then I'm also just gonna cut up my figs a little bit so it's easier for my little food processor to handle. This is just a baby one. All right. So I've already gone ahead and lined uh, my cake pan with some saran wrap. Otherwise, it's really hard to get the the cake out of the pan because it like sticks to the paper or it sticks to the pan. So that's why I always wrap everything with saran wrap so it's just easier. All right, it's ready to rock. So let's do the crust first. So I'm gonna pulse the oatmeal in the food processor first. So it kind of makes a little bit of a flour. And if you can always add more, it's like not exact measurements, it's not important. All right, that should be good. So let's add in some vanilla. And maybe dates and figs. Oops. All right. So this is gonna make like a nice sticky dough. All right, so like when it sticks together, that's pretty much when it's ready. You can try it, make sure it tastes good. Mm -hmm. I think I want to break it up a bit more. Some date chunks in there. Okay, it's a dough ball now, so I think it's ready. So now we're just going to press it into the cake dish. And if it gets sticky, you can just you know, get your hands wet a little bit and then you can press it down nicely. Okay, so now you've got your crust in there and it should look like that or something similar. So now we're gonna make our banana vanilla ice cream layer. You wanna freeze a few bananas, so I'm gonna use two bananas. Now 
great. These bananas are really frozen, so I'm gonna add some water. All right, let's try that again. All right, so now we're going to pour the ice cream on top of the crust. So you just kind of like pour it on there and then with your spatula or spoon or whatever you want, you can just like pat it down a bit. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna put it in the freezer to harden it up a little bit more. And while it's in the freezer, we'll make the pineapple coconut layer. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother washing out the blender. I know there's still banana in there, but that's okay, we can have some banana in, in the uh, coconut pineapple layer. Okay, so for the coconut uh, pineapple layer, we're gonna use the meat from one young coconut. I've already gone ahead and opened it. I actually froze this coconut meat, so it would um, blend better. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. Put in some coconut, or sorry, some pineapple. This is about a third of a pineapple that I'm putting in. Okay, and then we can also add some, we could, you could add some dates to make it sweeter or some maple syrup. So I think I'm gonna add maple syrup. And just however sweet you like it, I'm probably gonna add about two tablespoons. So you can always add more. So just try it and then add more. Maybe a bit of water too. instead of maple syrup because I don't want the maple syrup flavor to overpower it. So I'm just going to put in some coconut nectar. And it should be good. It's about one and a half tablespoons. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, it's so sweet and creamy. I just want to eat that. And now we're going to pour the pineapple layer on top of the banana layer. Okay, so the cake has been in the freezer for about two hours. So it's nice and firm now. So we can go ahead and remove the Know, whatever this thing's called. <laughs> and just kind of wiggle it out. All right, so now we have our beautiful ice cream cake and you can see the two different layers. You can see the crust and here's the banana, vanilla layer and here's our um, pineapple coconut layer. So now we can decorate it. And you can decorate it any way you want. Um, what I'm going to do is just going to place some pineapple and alternate it with some sliced banana. It would be nice to put some crushed uh, macadamia nut on top as well. I was going to do that, but I couldn't find my macadamia nuts. So instead I'm going to sprinkle it with coconut, because coconut makes everything look pretty too. So I'm just going to alternate pineapple and banana all the way around. 
There. And sprinkle the top with some coconut. So there you have it. Low fat, raw, pina colada ice cream cake. I can't wait to eat this. Thanks guys.